Are you an entrepreneur? Are you looking to start a new business and are looking to buy products for it? Then, you must have heard everyone talking about Alibaba nowadays. In this video, we will talk about Alibaba and what you must know before searching the web for Alibaba.com. Hello guys! Good day to you! I'm John, have been sourced and exported for 12 years. Since I graduated from university in 2009, more and more clients are complaining to me. They had a terrible sourcing experience in China. It's not good. Of course, if clients don't have enough knowledge and skill, they would be easily cheated or overcharged. But that's not the real made in China. There are many middlemen and scammers in exporting, and they are very good at marketing. Usually, they are the first contact with the buyers. But actually, most China source suppliers are honest, trustworthy, and offer good quality and fantastic prices. That's why I built Just China. Help the buyers avoid middlemen and scammers, save their time and energy, and lead them to the direct source manufacturer. Just China is the best China supply chain optimization company to drive profit growth. Offering quality assured one stop sourcing solutions with China sourcing, wholesaling, warehousing, and shipping service. Our mission is to let the world enjoy made in China. Guys, you can trust me. I buy from 600 China source suppliers and shipping forwarders a month. Now, I don't know how to sell overseas or I can't speak fluent English, but I do know you must get as deep as possible with China sourcing. Don't waste your money or lose faith with Made in China. There are many good products with fantastic prices. You just need to avoid middlemen and scammers. Once you can fully use Made in China, you can grow your profit times. In my videos, I will show you all my insight, knowledge and resources about sourcing and shipping. By the way, I am using a professional voice actor for my video, so you can understand me better. So, if you want to grow your business with Made in China, please subscribe to my channel now. Then you won't miss any updates. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is money. Let's get started. We will start by introducing the site that is Alibaba.com. Then, we will further delve into it. So, what is Alibaba? Alibaba is the largest e-commerce company in the world. Now you all must be wondering what that even means, or some of you might have a vague idea about it. Alibaba is more significant than Amazon, which most people use daily. It is a B2B site, connecting businesses to the businesses. Alibaba is the number one website that most importers use to start looking for products. It is used to buy hefty amounts of products from other businesses or manufacturers, mainly from China, where it is based. Is Alibaba safe? Let me say that in reply to this question, that everything that you know how to use is safe for you and is a risk for everyone else. So yeah, it is safe. But for that, you will have to learn how to use it first. In this video, I will teach you the basics of buying and using Alibaba to prevent you from any immediate loss. The biggest issue you will run into is poor quality products, which I'll address below. These are some of the basic precautions to follow when buying on Alibaba. Firstly, verify their export history using a tool like Jungle Scout's supplier database. It is a simple tool to verify the supplier's export history. You can see all the shipments the supplier has exported to your country. You can even see what factories your competitors are buying from. If you can see that a supplier is making continuous exports to other companies, the chances are reasonably sure they are a legitimate supplier. If a Chinese supplier suddenly asks you to send payment to an individual in Nigeria, this should be a red flag. Secondly, I will say that you prefer ordering from Chinese companies only. Thirdly, buy from gold suppliers only. And the last thing is the payment methods. I will discuss these in detail later in the video. The next thing that we are going to talk about is what are the things that you must know before placing an order on Alibaba? You're probably looking to source on Alibaba because you want to find products to sell via Amazon or your website. There are factories in China selling nearly every product imaginable, and you'll find them all on Alibaba. That doesn't mean that you should import every single type of product. The general rule is that the simpler the product, the fewer quality issues you will run into. For instance, a table is straightforward. A hoverboard is very complicated. If you can't understand precisely how a product works, you increase the probability of encountering problems. The very first thing that I now want to talk about before starting on Alibaba is understanding its badge system. So there are two badges on Alibaba, gold suppliers and verified suppliers. 
Gold suppliers are the suppliers that are paid members, while the verified members are the members that a third party audits, whether online or offline. That helps narrow down the supplier list to only verify more trustworthy and reliable suppliers. You can select the verified supplier and narrow it down on their website. Next, please check the experience and time that the supplier had been on Alivaba. We need more experienced suppliers, so we will check how old the supplier is before ordering from there. The next thing that we are going to tell you about is What are trading and wholesale companies? And who are the manufacturers on Alivaba? Also, how do we differentiate them? Suppliers on Alivaba also come in the form of trading companies and factories. A trading company generally has higher prices, but also slightly more consistent quality and a more extensive product selection. On the other hand, factories have slightly lower prices and more limited selection with unpredictable quality. The next and most important thing is finding an Alivaba supplier. So for that, we have many videos but still giving an overview here, I would like to say. Before worrying about an MOQ and freight costs, you must first find the right supplier. With your account set up, the next thing to figure out is what product you want to search for. Once you know what it is, search for it on Alibaba. The next and the ultimate goal when looking for suppliers should be to find three to five potential suppliers, contact them, and get price quotes for your product. So first of all, after searching, you need to sort the products similar to what you are looking for. Look for authentic photographs because some suppliers steal photos of Western brands' products. How to contact suppliers and get responded to. The next thing is to contact the supplier and not get ignored. It would help if you ask the right questions. Be clear, concise, and to the point. The most crucial thing in this aspect is to be specific about one product only, or they will think that you are fishing for an entire catalog and price list. The key to negotiating with suppliers is to determine the market price of your desired product, unless you know your product extremely well and the cost to manufacture it. Your only way to know the fair price of your product is to receive competing offers, which is why you need to contact several suppliers. The next thing after getting a reply is to receive prices from your suppliers. If they ask you how much you will be importing, let them know your ideal annual order amount. Be an optimist, but don't promise the moon rather than the individual order amount. Now, for example, you are looking at something cheaper than your imagination. Will you proceed to buy it? The answer is no. Beware of suppliers that have low prices relative to others. Typically, there is a catch to this. You will likely have two or three suppliers with comparable prices and comparable products at this point. You want to find a supplier that can accommodate your smaller order size. How to negotiate low minimum order quantities Mock. The fundamental thing of a business will be that whenever we first launch a product, we would like to order less MOQ. Every supplier will have an MOQ, which is a minimum order amount. Usually, it's around $2,500 to $5,000. On a first order, the MOQ is quite flexible if you negotiate. So try to order less on your first order and check and verify so that you can type in bulk later. The last and the most important thing is how to order and pay on Alibaba. The next thing after selecting the desired supplier is to get the invoice. However, the most important thing is to use trade assurance while paying. Pay via trade assurance or PayPal when you can. Paying via wire transfers for larger orders is normal, but always ensure the beneficiary name matches the company name. Once your orders get larger, most suppliers will expect a 30% deposit via wire transfer and the remaining 70% payment when the goods are ready. Suppliers don't typically like PayPal unless it's for smaller orders. How to ship products from China. Now, I would advise you to let your supplier arrange for shipping if this is your first time and to add it to the invoice. You can also ship to Amazon FBA. Your supplier could arrange that for you. So in this way, you don't have to worry about anything and all your work will be handled. First, a Alibaba will be shipped to Amazon FBA from where you can sell it to your customers. That is all for today. And these are the basic steps essential for everyone before opening the website alibaba.com. I hope this helps. For more information and different things, you can contact us and we will answer your queries related to the videos. That's all from my side about importing products from China. Thanks for your watching. I hope you can benefit from this video. If you still have questions, ask below in the comment section or you can get in touch with us. If you like the video, 
don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.